Hello everybody! Today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. This is an awesome little game that I've had for a very long time and I've never gotten particularly good at it but you guys asked for it in the comments so here it is. One thing I'd like to try with this is I'd love to make it a series and each episode I will design a rocket and try and get to space with it and then in the comments, if you guys could tell me what I should improve, then I'll make sure to implement that on my next rocket. And we'll see if we can together get to the moon. You guys are obviously going to be a lot better at this, this than I am, so I'd love your feedback. Okay, let's start. Okay, so, up here in the top left hand corner we have different pods. Some of them are manned, some of them are automated. I'm going to go with a single man pod for now. Hopefully this will be nice and simple to get to the moon. Next, we want a fuel tank. I don't know which ones of these are the best. Uh, I'm looking at the stats there. Let's try this one here. Oh, that was very small. Let's try this one here. And now what we need is a decoupler. So this part up here is where the Kerbal sits, and this is our fuel tank. Once this fuel tank runs out, we want to be able to detach it and let our land Kerbal land safely. So we're going to go to Structures, Stack Decoupler, pop that right there, pop it here. And now all we're missing is a rocket. Which is... in Propulsion. Now... I'm not sure which is going to be the best. Maybe this one. That one looks cool. I don't know how powerful this is going to be. It's quite small. Let's add some, uh, some fins to it. Pop. There we go. It's looking nice. Okay. Oh, maybe we should add some more fins, actually. Two doesn't seem like many. Alright, here we go. Blam. Alright, cool. Now, before I forget, we should probably add a couple more things. First of all, we want a parachute. Which is there. Is that the one we want? That looks right. And also, we want an SAS module, which is a... Um, Kind of flight stabilizer. Um, it's going to be, what's that, in control? Here we go. So let's add a uh, SAS module. Wow, we can put, pop it there. Oh no, we can't. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, okay. Now that we've got to give this baby a name. Space Dojo Mark 1. Okay, it's looking cool. Let's test this thing. Well, let's save it first. All right, let's test this thing. All right, here we are on the launch pad. Who we got in the cockpit? Jebediah Kerman? That sounds like a man that can get to the moon. Okay, so in terms of keyboard controls, I can use shift to increase my throttle and control to decrease it. You can see the little gauge going up and down here on the, uh, on the trackball thing at the bottom. I don't know what the term is for that. Someone let me know in the comments. Okay. Full throttle. Three, two, one. Let's go! Oh, wow. Okay. Woohoo! Oh! I need to turn SAS on with the T button. That should stop me from wobbling over, I think. I could probably throttle down a little bit too, because we're going up very fast. Look at this! Jebediah is so happy that his teeth are clipping through his face. That's how you know, that's sheer joy right there. Look at this! Oh, there's our destination. It's the moon. This is going way better than I expected. Okay, I'm going to turn my SAS off and I'm going to tilt myself a little bit because watching people that actually know what they're doing in this game it appears that this is about the right time to turn. 
I think that's because you want to start getting into a um, into an orbit around the planet Kerbin. If I tap M, I can go to a map view. And this arc here is, I guess, our trajectory. This is going to show us when, where we're, we're going to hit a peak and when we're going to start dropping back down. And eventually, if I keep accelerating and I keep heading up through the atmosphere, this trajectory should go all the way around the planet and that makes an orbit. I'm going up very high, but I'm not getting... Oh, there goes my fuel tank. Okay. So I've made it to about... Uh, I'm kind of two-thirds of the way out of the atmosphere. In fact, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty much in space now. I am. I'm, I'm in space. But I didn't have enough fuel to get me any further. There's a nice galaxy over there. This game's really beautiful. Like, it looked, it's, it's very cartoony, it's very simple, but things like this just look really nice. The glow of the sun coming over the edge um, of the planet. I seem to just be flying upwards now. I'm guessing just my um, momentum is carrying me up through the atmosphere now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed things up. I get some lovely transition music. And we'll see where we get to. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm starting to lose altitude now. Ignore the fact that I'm spinning out of control. Nobody tell Jebediah I put um, paper up on the windows before we flew, so he hasn't actually been able to see out this whole time. I've told him that he's currently orbiting the moon. Just nobody tell him. It'll break his heart. Look at him. He's so happy. He's convinced at the moment that he's, uh, he's the first man to reach lunar orbit. Uh, we're hurtling towards the ground now at quite a high speed. Um, let's see if we can fast forward a little bit further. <laughs> I'm spinning so fast. I mean, I know I'm, I'm accelerating time, but I'm... Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Wow. I'm, uh... I was burning up in the atmosphere there. I just jettisoned my empty fuel, which is doing some crazy flips, just showing off to everyone. It knows it's on the internet. It wants to show off to its uh, fuselage girlfriend. Good go. Its planet needs it. Okay, we're heading towards the ground now. Hopefully, my parachute will open. Okay, so i call that a success, maybe, I don't know, I didn't crash, no, nothing's exploded, Jebediah is still alive, I am going to have to tell him the bad news now, that he didn't make it around the, uh, the lunar surface, he wasn't orbiting it. And he's going to be heartbroken. But the good news is that he didn't die in a fireball. And he can take part in the second test. In which he may actually get to the lunar surface. Which would be fantastic. We're parachuting down now. And our beautiful little pod. There it is. There's our goal. It's taunting us. One day we'll make you an astro astronaut, Jebediah. Bam. Okay. He's made it down. We can get him out. We can get him to have a little dance around. I wish I could get him to wave. That would be a great way to end this video. He could just wave. Space guy Jebediah. <laughs> he looks like he's seen some serious 
Chisnes. He looks like he's... I, I think he's having flashbacks already. Look into those eyes. Those soulless eyes. He's got a thousand yard stare. Once you hit space, you never come back. Okay, on that note, I think that's a success. Leave some comments, guys. Let me know what I need to do to my ship. I think it's pretty obvious. I'm going to need some more fuel. But if you've got any tips, give them to me, and we'll see how we do in our second episode. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.